This morning's star Dr. Chris Steele is celebrating 35 years of working on the beloved show and advising the nation on their health woes and concerns. The beloved GP made a rare appearance on the flagship ITV show and chatted to fellow this morning regular Dr. Zoe Williams about his career. The Mirror reports that in 1988 Dr. Chris first went on this morning to highlight the importance of taking the MMR vaccine. Just one year later, the pioneering GP convinced ITV bosses to air the first ever live breast examination on British television in 1989. Then in 1999, Dr. Chris made history by performing the first testicular examination on morning television. That was a very interesting progression forwards, Dr. Chris said. Showing testicles, and how to examine your testicles, seeing it being done is better than reading a leaflet. He went on to receive an MBE from the Queen in 2010 for his services to medicine and broadcasting. Following his impressive career, let's take a look back at the beloved doctor's life including his famous sportsman son and his mental health battles. Dr. Chris Steele's own health battles Dr. Chris was diagnosed with skin cancer in 1996 and allowed cameras into his operation in a bid to show people there was nothing to be afraid of. He told Dr. Zoe why he made that decision he said, it takes the fear of the surgery away from them. You're not going to be disfigured hopefully, you're going to be cured and of course, it gets them talking. In 2012, he revealed he had been diagnosed with skin cancer a second time telling this morning hosts Philip Schofield and Holly Willoughby the cancer was purely the result of overexposure to the sun and sunbeds many years ago. Dr. Chris said, Back in 1996 I had skin cancer on the left side of my cheek which was removed and I was left with a hole in my cheek about the size of a 50 pence piece and a skin surgeon stitched the edges together and you can't see where it's been. A few years later my wife said you've got a mark on your back just the same as your face, and I went back to see the guy and yes, it was another skin cancer, a different type to the other one I had on my face. And then two weeks ago, I found a mark on my leg. Skin cancer, what to look out for Chris used his own diagnosis to raise awareness of the dangers of overexposure to the sun and using sunbeds. He explained, as many viewers will have been abroad soaking up the sun this year, they should be skin aware and the message is that if you have any marks on skin that have been exposed to the sun's rays, and that mark is slowly growing, then let your GP have a glance at it. There are two types of skin cancer, melanoma and non-melanoma. While non-melanoma tends to appear as a lump or discolored patch on the skin, melanoma usually appears as a new mole or a change to an existing one. This type of skin cancer is considered more dangerous because it can spread to other organs in the body. Dr. Chris advises people to check their moles for, irregular edges, different shades of brown increase in size treatment for depression and cataracts in recent years, Dr. Chris spoke out about mental health and admitted he had battled depression several times throughout his life. He encouraged those dealing with low mood or symptoms to speak to their GP and praised the use of antidepressants from his personal experience. He said, I've had depression a couple of times, quite bad. The problem is when you start the treatment you're on a low ebb. Most of the treatment takes a few weeks to kick in. Sign up to our record showbiz newsletter if, like us, you love a good dose of celebrity gossip then we've got you covered. From Lorraine Kelly and Janie Godley to Gordon Ramsay and Sir Rod Stewart. Our weekly showbiz newsletter is packed with the latest news on your favorite stars from Scotland and beyond. Signing up couldn't be easier. Simply enter your email address in the box further up the page or click here to view our wide range of newsletters.
Dr. Chris also let cameras film his cataract surgery in 2016 telling the mirror, the thing with cataracts is that you don't really notice the cloudiness in your eye lens at first. The blurriness is very fine and I don't know when the tipping point was, but I just saw a gradual deterioration in my eyesight over time. I've been wearing glasses for short-sightedness for more than 30 years, but last year, I realized I couldn't see writing at a distance, road signs were no longer clear and gradually worsened. After 48 hours, I had perfect sight and you wouldn't have known I'd had an operation. Dr. Chris Steele's famous son Dr. Chris mainly keeps his family life private, but he has four children including his famous son Andrew who is an Olympic athlete. He made his Olympic debut at Beijing 2008, running a personal best to make the semi-final of the 400 meters. He was also a member of the 4x400M team who, despite finishing fourth on the night in Beijing, were retrospectively awarded a bronze medal nine years later after the Russian quartet were disqualified.